Hey guys, uh, today I'm bringing you another how-to video. Um, I just got this wig. This is the Dare to Be by Raquel Welch, and I love everything about it, except one thing, <laughs> and that is that the ear tabs are too far back for my ears. So that means that instead of the ear tabs falling in front of my ear right here where they should, they're actually falling on top of my ear. Um, I have adjusted the cap. There's no extra room back here for me to make the cap smaller. It's literally just a placement of ear tabs and my abnormally shaped head. So when that happens, the only thing that I have personally found that you can do to fix that is to cut those suckers off. Um, do this with extreme caution. Um, obviously something like this will void any type of return that you might want to do on the wig, obviously. Um, you start cutting things off of it, I doubt they're gonna take it back. So um, please don't do that unless you are willing to possibly um, keep that piece. Uh, of course, you could sell it to a wig sister if you wanted, if they don't care about ear tabs, but it is going to alter the piece significantly. I really, really, really love this wig and I don't wanna sell it. Uh, I don't want to return it. I wanna just fix it for me. So I'm gonna cut them off and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so when you cut off ear tabs, you're gonna lose some hair because ear tabs have hair sewn into them. Uh, so you need to be very careful about where you cut and know exactly how much hair you're going to lose. Um, also, pay attention to your own bio hair if you do still have bio hair because if you were to put your uh, hair behind your ear, this would show if you still have bio hair. So these are all just things you need to know going in because I'm going to lose approximately this much hair. This is what's attached to the ear tab itself, right where I'm gonna cut. And I'm okay with losing that much hair, um, but just, just know going in, hair will come off. You're gonna see a little bit of shedding because you're doing this, so um, make sure that you're very careful and you try to pull as much hair out of the way as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and pivot my camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I have the hair sectioned off. Um, when you cut your ear tabs, you're going to want to run along this seam right here. So here's your adjusters. This is where your adjusters start. You're gonna to wanna to just create another invisible line and that's where you're gonna to wanna to cut across. So I'm just wanting to cut off all of this like triangle section here. Um, also, go ahead and grab yourself a pair. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. Um, also grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers as well, just because um, if they are adjustable ear tabs, you're going to see uh, some metal in there. So make sure that your scissors are good enough that they will cut through metal. It's just a little bit of a wire um, and you should be fine uh, with just these two tools. All right, so let's go ahead and get cutting. I'll try to do all of this on camera so you guys can see. So here's the hair that I've sectioned off. I'm not getting any additional hair in here. I'm just getting what I know is attached to this section. And let's start cutting. So here I just ran into that piece of uh, wire that I knew I'd run into. And you just kind of cut through it and it'll go. When you get to this section, you kind of need to just start veering up a little bit so that you don't cut into your lace. And there we go. So here is the ear tab that I cut off. And that is what we are left with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Also, it really helps if your bio hair matches the rooting as close as possible. This does have a rooting to it, so um, I'm, I'm good in that particular respect uh, because like I said, your hair will show. I lost my rat tail comb, so <laughs> I'm having to use my angled brush for this to help separate that hair. Oh, 
right, just line it up. Cut through that copper wire there. There you go. And once you get to this point, remember just angle it up a little bit so you don't cut into your lace. And there is the second one. Now that wire we talked about, we have to get out or that's gonna poke you. So the wire that you'll see will be three, see if I can get it to where you can see it. It is right here. Oh, I really wish you guys could see it. Okay, right there. One, two, three, three little tiny wires right there. So what it is, is one is a U shape. This one on here creates a U. So that's really only one wire and then there's another wire in between. At least my last wig was like that. So I just grab a hold of the needle nose pliers and I start yanking on it. Now you can really see them. Sometimes it helps to straighten out the other one because again, they are attached to each other. There's the middle one. Middle one comes out pretty easy all by itself. There we go. So that's how big the U-shaped one is. So this one's kind of hard to remove. So just tug really hard and it'll come out. And now there's no more of that metal in there that would scratch you. Let's get the other side out. There we go. Just grab a hold of it and start, oh, that one came out easy. And just start pulling. I don't think that one didn't have the extra one. It was just that one, so that's good. All right, let me meet you back up top. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm gonna take my wet brush and just run my brush through it to try and get any of the little hairs that inevitably are going to shed because of what I just did. And it's not really a lot, that's about it. Just honestly, maybe 10 hairs shed on that. You just keep pulling. Yeah, I'm not really getting anything. All right, time to put it on. Now, when you cut your tabs off a wig, you have now lost your grip um, to be able to adjust it. So you just have to try to keep it straight where your, uh, your tabs used to be to help you keep it straight. But it should not affect how the overall wig fits you at all. Uh, it just takes that pressure off of your actual ear. So now this wig is a thousand times more comfortable for me. Um, there's nothing pushing on my ears. That's it. I take the glasses off. So honestly, it's really difficult to tell where the rooting, at least in my camera, maybe it'll look different when I go back to edit it, but the rooting is blending decently well with my actual bio hair. So if I were to put this behind my ears, I mean, y'all tell me, does that look bad? or are we matching okay for rooting? I mean, if it matches your bio hair completely and you still have some bio hair, that's one of the most natural looks you can get. It kind of mimics a topper that way because you don't have an ear tab in front. So y'all let me know in the comments whether or not you believe that that looks natural enough to get away with tucking it behind my ear where it meets the rooting. I think it's super cute. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that I chose to keep it and just cut off the ear tabs. Um, here's what I ended up with. That's it. Okay, 
So I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them below and I'll answer them just as soon as I possibly can. Until next time, bye-bye beautiful.